as I said before, we're not creating, we're not making things up, we're only observing. If those are already perceived, then they testify to a seeing which is not caught in the bubble of what is seen. Some, the looking must be coming from some place. Where? I've, huh? Where? The only place you can never not be. You are able to see everything. Hesitation, frustration, desire, readiness, willingness, all this is seen, isn't it? Yes. What sees them? This is now knowledge, isn't it? This is now, we are not asking you tomorrow. Now you can see. It must already be a fact. The fact is already proven. Proven, They are seen, isn't it? I am not giving too much value to them. If I do, then we will have to spend more time with those concepts. Here they are not given so much importance. What is important is that they are seen. By what are they seen? By you. Yeah, of course, by you. But by you personally? Your own person is seen? Hmm. So, it will not be sufficient to give only a mental answer. Well, it's by me. It's by the ultimate. No, no, no. I want to see that you see. Don't satisfy yourself with any answer from the mind. You are being cornered. There is no escape, except you say, OK. OK, give it to someone else. Hmm? The desire for freedom. I said, ah, yes, OK. I desire freedom. OK, this is how you go about it. No, I said, who desires the freedom? Who is saying, I have to get it? Can this one be introduced? Is it real? Or is it merely a thought? arising in you, for a long time believed, an identity for a long time associated with. But you say, but it, can, it has to be more than that, because I can feel it is me, and every cell of my being is saying, I want to be free. This one has come to satsang and wants to leave with the prize of freedom, but instead is getting the chop. <laughs> I wonder if it can go like this. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this one? I don't know. For so long, we are living with this vice, unquestioned. Your parents believe this vice. Your friends believe this vice. Society believes this vice. You believe this vice also. But is it you? Hmm. OK. 
canopy. <laughs> if this voice is seen and heard, and it also passes, it comes and goes. Are you yet ready? Are you now ready, even, or able to leave it aside as another phenomena recognize? Can you even? Or is it not so pregnant with meaning, with association, with attachment, with affection, that it won't be so easily dismissed? I am not in a hurry to dismiss, only to see your capacity. I have no war with that one. It is thought. Witnessing of this as thought engendered with tremendous feeling and meaning, also phenomenal, is recognized. Even with the pain, of being left aside for a moment. Tremendous nerve centres are coming out with it. Am I right or not? Yes. Nevertheless, seeing of this also is taking place. What remains? What remains? I'm not in a hurry to get an answer which will be merely conceptual, because it will be dismissed also. I want to see if you see. If even this, the most subtle, the most potent concept or feeling, is itself seen, From where is the seeing emerging, you see? Who are you now? What is here? Don't give me words. Search inside your own self. Look. Don't create. Look. Is there courage to look? Is there will? To look. Something has been running away from this opportunity. Why? Because somehow it appears it will put an end to a game that we still have an investment in. We feel that without the sense of being a person, There will be no joy, no meaning in life. There is no nothing at all. But this is not so. This is not so. One who is awake also has feeling, sensitivity, patience, love, understanding. All these things can be there. But they won't belong to a somebody. They are emanating out of the totality which you are. Many of you already have had the surging up, or glimpses, you may say like that, from the infinite. You have had the smell. But you have not touched this flower. There is a saying, I want to taste honey, I don't want to be honey. I want to taste honey, I don't want to be honey. There is something like that in us. I want to have enlightenment as an experience. I want to taste it. But I still want to be me. 
He says, yes, you are you. But the you that you are referring to is a very tiny thing. But do you want to be you, the immeasurable one? But you think, if I become the immeasurable one, I will lose my tiny little apartment of personal identity. I will lose my secrecy, my privacy, all these things. Carry on. Mm -hmm. The eye still wants more work <laughs> so that it can yes. remain. Yes. The eye still wants more work so that it can remain. I didn't realize that. This is you. actually a very strong statement. I like it. The eye wants more work, and the best work. Working for enlightenment, so that it can remain. <laughs> yes. It can remain. If you reflect on that a little bit, there is actually something powerful in terms of insight in the statement you make. I want to continue to be a seeker. Yeah. I am terrified of finding, but I am attracted to seeking. So if I get glimpses, then maybe it will keep me locked in. Because I'll keep wanting those glimpses. The eye, that mm. is. Is that the same as you? We speak about an eye, and for a moment or two, you allow some distance to comment about I as a person. But who are you? Something that can revert back to identity. You go back to identity, come away from identity, coming and going. Is this you also? I mean, definitively, is it you? It must relate to yourself, it must be an aspect of your expression, but is, is that the essential you? Why even bother? You can live in this world without knowing yourself completely. You can know a certain idea of self, and it is sufficient for most people. I don't want to. Yes. In the game of transcendence, of seeking, consciousness has placed this seed inside itself. I don't want that. I don't want that. I enjoy it sometimes. I feel the taste for it sometimes. But right now, if you ask me, my highest wish, my deepest feeling, I don't want that. If today you are called, this moment, yes, come fully in. Is it yes, or is it just a moment? This seed Consciousness has taken this seed long ago, that will sprout, that will awaken within itself a yearning for, a longing for, just being, without association with other things. <clears throat> now in many it is sprouting as a longing, a desire, an urge, a frustration, an urgency to be home. Otherwise, where could such an urge come from in this world, if it wasn't something inside you that is calling for this? But other voices are also there. <laughs> Some other voices are there, vying for business. Yeah. All of this is in the mind, in the mind of consciousness. All this struggle, this oh, making big sacrifice and coming, but not quite sure, and it seems so big, and oh, I'm fading, I think I'm going to die. All of this 
is dream. But what a dream. What intensity, what intensity. Hmm? When your eyes are open, you laugh at the thought of suffering your own self. How totally simple. A truth which does not leave you with something to do. Just you are. You are even right now, but not aware of it. The attention, the energy is sitting inside another's position. You're in another gear, a gear that you can be in also experientially. What is important is that they are seen by what are they seen? By you, yeah, of course, by you, but by you personally. Your own person is seen. If even this, the most subtle, the most potent concept or feeling, is itself seen, from where is the seeing emerging? You see, who are you now? What is here? Don't give me words. Search inside your own self. Look. Don't create. Don't satisfy yourself with any answer from the mind. You are being cornered. There is no escape. 